Dobre utre, kakvi, good morning, how are you in Russian? Today is going to be a little bit different day. So, I woke up, I'm very actually productive, already on my coffee, sorry about my appearance, but I just really wanted to kind of give my skin a bit of breathing, especially since I'll be tidying today. As I told you last night, I'm going to try and tackle this horror story. This at the moment is what we call a stock room. I mean, a ladder, what is this, a towel? boxes from stuff, drying sheets, more drying sheets, clothes, shelves, more weird stuff, tripod, random bag, Ikea bag, towels, you know, Christmas tree stuff, like what the hell, I mean this is literally one of the most beautiful, like I love this bathroom so much, but it's completely ruined because it's full of random stuff and I really want to make a beautiful bathroom out of it. I want to decorate it, I want to tidy it. I have like a really nice storage space here so I can organize everything and it goes all the way to the top. So like a three meter tall storage so you can put a lot in there. I was thinking of kind of converting this into my beauty room. The shower I'm not even gonna comment on. It has a lot of boxes from like my Etro bags, from my Christmas decoration, from my Louis Vuitton stuff. There's like a light and it's such a nice shower and it will be so beautiful when we eventually have guests over. So I really wanna make it nice and organize it really beautifully. So today that's what I am gonna do. It's not the most glamorous, wonderful day of Vlogmas, but I think it's gonna be so worth it. Eventually for the drying, <laughs> um, I'm gonna buy this thing. In Serbian, we have, my family has a word for it. We call it koza, which is in a literal translator, goat. And that's not the name for it. I don't know why my family calls it that way. Does your family have like a word for something that nobody else uses that word? Uh, anyway, we call it koza, but it's like, a, it's basically um, the thing for drying. So I'm gonna buy that, a nice one, maybe a vertical one, so that actually it's kind of like, like takes less space and that's gonna be much better than actually hanging stuff on a rail. This rail is going to be very useful when it's like fashion week time because I like to put all the samples on there. I don't like to put stuff in my wardrobe that don't belong to me that are like press samples and from the showrooms, so I only like to keep here things which is not the case at the moment. At the moment, it's a lot of stuff that are drying, like, you know, my my Dior jeans, my off-white tracksuit, a lot of t-shirts, like, just drying stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to represent you something finally a little bit different. Let's put the lights on because the lights here are so beautiful. Ta-da! Finally managed to clear. This is the first time I think since we moved in that this bathroom can look like this. Sometimes when you have the LED lights, the flickering is quite annoying. Later on in the day, I'm gonna put here my cosmetics and stuff that I wanna have in this bathroom. And then here, as you can see, I don't think those two towels really belong when it comes to color in this bathroom because it's more of like earthy tones bathroom and now i feel like i need a few things bits and bobs that we don't really have like soap holders things like that maybe another one of these baskets for the towels that we could place over here i also put my new um aqua de parma diffuser here because i think it's very beautiful when it actually um it smells like so nice. So the plan is now to go out to Zara home, which is very, very close by. We're gonna try and find some things for this bathroom because there's literally nothing. I have one thing here that I don't know where I'm gonna place at the moment. It's a handbag holder. I might place it on the fireplace in my, in the other room because also it doesn't work here color wise. So we need something silver, earth tones, baskets, things like that for this room here and I'm gonna be very happy. It's actually raining outside, great. 
but one thing that's very important to me is to have the SPF or like kind of lighter foundation. I'll see, I'll mix it up with the SPF just so that I have a little bit of coverage because of the pollution, because of everything that's going on out there, even though it's raining, you know, all the like dust, everything, you. So I'm gonna do a little bit of skin uh, and then let's head out. Came to a conclusion that I really love this product so much. This is the Hourglass um, little palette. I will link it below and I will show you what it looks like on my face. All I have on my face right now is the Fenty Pro Filter a uh, little bit of foundation and the bronzy part and the highlighted part of that Hourglass palette that I show you right now. Nothing else and the SPF of course because um, uh, so that's all no concealer no nothing else but I love the glow that this palette gives me. I think it's really one of the best out there, not sponsored. I don't even work with the brand. I bought it just so that's able to the brand. I know that some people like to have a little bit more on their skin, but what I like with this palette really the most is that it gives such a nice glow to the contour parts of the face. And I apply it all over on my nose, on my cheeks, on my chin, everywhere, everywhere. It just adds a bit more liveliness and color as well. So much mess in the background, which I will also tidy up today because we have to. I've unboxed the hat that arrived yesterday and I also received something else this morning, which I will show you today, I promise. Um, I haven't even dressed up. So this is what I'm wearing, like my Joseph knit set. This morning I woke up and I was like, I would love to wear my Birkin in cray. However, it's raining and do I want to risk it? Of course not. Like today I randomly turned in a different street. So to get to Champs-Élysées, I can turn in three different streets. And today I chose a different one. And I discovered like two spa places that look great, which will be amazing to visit after January. I saw so many cool restaurants. Just to correct myself, it's not like that only in Paris. It's that I love Paris still because I'm still discovering so much. Even after six months of being here, I'm still discovering every single day something new. It's really a day to stay in bed, to watch Netflix and read books, but it's okay. It's only a quick visit and then we're back to organization. Let's see what I can find here today for the not what I came for, but I found the um, napkins, like the cloth napkins, which will be useful at Christmas. Literally, I'm only buying stuff that I didn't come for. I don't know why, but I really need this for the candles. God, I need help. Okay, the color palette is looking okay, let's see. Many of you have asked me where to get these books on the collections of Saint Laurent, Prada, Vuitton, and actually you can get them also at Zara Home. Normally I would walk to um, home from Zara home, but it's raining so much now and you know how they give the paper bags, so I'm worried that the stuff will break from the paper bag and also the camera is getting wet, which is not ideal, so yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally coming to what I managed to do. I didn't really get many things, so you know that that basket was already there. I got another one, which will fit like larger towels as well that are spares. At the moment, the beach towels are there. And I mean, I kind of don't hate it actually. I love these towels, I think they're beautiful. Perhaps they suit the other bathroom better, but at the moment they'll stay here. I actually really like this basket from Zara Home. I think it's quite practical with the handles. It's almost like tray-like. Over here is the same thing as on top there, kind of more like decoration. Here I bought a little marble, um, what's it called? Like a pot for the soap. I mean, you can technically really keep anything in here. And if I don't put the soap in there, and here I just got two little scents for this bathroom. So I took the my Aqua di Parma one. It's a salted caramel one, it's seasonal. It's so beautiful, you guys. It smells divine. I just put the diffuser sticks, hop, hop, hop. There we go. Now they will smell much stronger because the oil is up and I got these. I love them. It's like a little bottle with matches and at the back here is to light a match. Finally tidy. I'm so happy with the results because now if my mom comes over at some point, if my friends come over, all of my friends who are watching this, this will be your bathroom and the shower is fully clear 
Now I'm so happy. I'm ready for 2021 for my friends to come over and have a nice, beautiful bathroom. Unfortunately, that is not the end of the tidying, guys, because now I took all of these like boxes and the lights and things that were in the bathroom and I have to find a place for them. But I would like to kind of put this back to how it was initially and then I'll be so happy at home. Before I start taking care of everything, I made myself a little cup of tomato basil soup. So I'm gonna curl up do everything that I need to do, do a little kitchen order as well because I haven't done any food shopping, which I was supposed to, but it was heavy carrying the basket and everything else from Zara. So I'll order some food now, like as in groceries. What I haven't shown you is that I got these uh, serviettes for the table. I think I showed them to you at Zara at home, but honestly, like how annoying are these long declaration? I will obviously cut it out, but it's just... Yeah, and this will go so nicely for the Christmas table. And I also got two of these, you know we have these mats for the plates because when it's just my boyfriend and I eating, oops, when it's just my boyfriend and I eating, I hope I didn't put this on now and will cause fire because that, that would sound like something that I would do. We sometimes don't like to use the tablecloth and then we just want to use these. I got only two because I want to try them out and then see how they are. This I threw on the floor because obviously I'm gonna wash it before uh, we even use it. So it's there and I need to like unbox it and all of that. In the meanwhile got a little home grocery delivery. So I need to unpack it all and tidy the kitchen a little bit as well. Such a Cinderella today. Very often I receive questions on what I do, what I shop when I do grocery shopping and honestly I don't think it's fun at all and it's always the same stuff but I still decided to show you guys because then I can tidy my fridge as well. Shopping from Marks and Spencers this is where I... It's all good, everyone's alive, nothing's broken yet. Okay, so I like to shop in Marks and Spencers because I can understand what I'm buying and I know the food and like, you know, have some experience. So I got the Marks and Spencers Black Olive Crackers. I got the dips for the evenings with friends and stuff, the hummus and the chunky guacamole dip, though that's very easy to make as well. Got avocados, salad, because in this house we eat so much salad. Tomatoes, which we eat with the salad. Broccoli, because we also like to eat broccoli a lot, especially me. I like to boil olive oil, salt, and that's all. Or steam. Raspberries for the oats. Blueberries for the oats. Mango for the me snacking. Halloumi, never bought this halloumi before. We will try it out, but I love halloumi. So... Yeah, and maybe we can even try and make some kind of like real Halloween, I don't know. Bought triple chocolate crunch cereal, I love these. Also my boyfriend, he even snacks on dry cereal. It's a little bit strange, but you know, it's okay. Um, bananas for my acai bowl, because for me, I really ran out of bananas and I was like, horror story. Yesterday I kind of struggled making the acai with all the frozen stuff. I bought something that I'm gonna eat today, it's spinach and rick ravioli. Normally I don't like buying these already kind of made stuff that you just need to um, put in the oven, but I did today because when you order on delivery, you can't order the ones that I normally order. They don't just give you the option. Soups, because I eat soup a day. And my tomato basil and the cream tomato soup. I love them so much. More crackers, these are the cream crackers with whatever you want, just some avocado crushed with, uh, again, a pinch of salt and olive oil, coconut milk, actually I realized I love Marks and Spencer's milk, like it's not milk, it's plant-based drink. These are my essentials, together with some tuna. So I'm gonna now use this bag as rubbish, that reminds me so much of my mom and my grandma, and tidy the kitchen, organize everything because I want to have ahead of me a really nice weekend where everything is so nice and organized and I'm really enjoying the time with my friends 
and my loved ones. Let's do this. There's not that much left in this advent calendar, huh? We are now at number 15, which means that half of Lagmas is already over. We have Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. You guys know I don't use the foaming face washes, but someone else will be happy to receive this. And over here, number 15, it's kind of like a dark purple glittery polish. I'll put it here. Dark blue. I'll wipe it off. I never really wear colors like this, but why not? I don't understand why not, and I feel like I should try them. Ta-da! It's a little bear! Little bear, love it. I'm planning on going home soon to visit my boys, and I'm gonna make sure to bring them all the decorations so that they can put on their tree. They love that so much. Before my boyfriend comes from work, and I was thinking of tackling the biggest horror, ever, which is this cupboard here. Ever since we moved in, everything that I don't know where to put, I'm gonna put in that cupboard over there. And it got to the point where that cupboard is now the worst thing that I can open. And every time I open it, I say, okay, very soon I'm gonna tidy it. That day has not yet come. Oh no, it has come, it's today. So <laughs> since I've been organizing the whole day, and I'm very sorry that today's video is so boring but i just really want to have everything really nice at home for holidays and it's just one of those days you know how it is sometimes you don't tidy anything whole day and then sometimes whole day you're just tidying and today is that day and i really want to tidy it and i think i can be pretty fast i have one new rule i don't want to accumulate any stuff that i don't want or don't need i really want to only keep stuff that I'm using and that I know where they are and I want to be a little bit of, I know this sounds ridiculous, not a minimalist, but I don't want to collect and accumulate things that I'm not using. Now we have all of my equipment here some extra chargers, adapters, things like that. I will show you above as well, but there are some like um, documents. So there's like address and stuff like that, but it looks much better than it was before. I know this is still kind of not my favorite cupboard, let's say that way, but because this is kind of general use when my team comes over, we all use this cupboard. So uh, yeah, I want it all to be easily accessible. I realized I never actually had a chance to show you what I got this Christmas from my threes. So I got two gifts somehow. First, I received this, which, okay guys, don't judge me. Is I think this is backgammon, right? And I don't know how to play it because it's not really a thing, I would think at least, that we play in Serbia. We have a fair share of games that we play often, but this is not one of them. So I'm super excited to learn. And my boyfriend as well, we both said we're gonna learn and I'm very, very happy to learn to play this. So I'm very grateful for this gift. And then today I received this. Königliche Porzellan Manufaktur Berlin. Lol, my German so bad. So, over here we have the personalized to-go porcelain mug. Oh my god, it is actually fully personalized. Wait, here we go. It's a porcelain cup to take away, which you can close. For me, this is a dream. This is always an amazing gift for me because I love my coffee to go and love my initials. So massive thank you to the wonderful My Teresa team. Two things. I realized that I never show you my new Borsalino head. I chose it myself. It's um, kind of like military green, olive green in my size, which is quite a big size of a head for a woman, I know. But it is, I have a big head, what can I do? Can't change it, won't change it, anyway. I think it's very nice, obviously not with this look, but imagine my hair being down and everything. I will wear it, so you will see it a lot more. It's a gift from the brand. My boyfriend just brought me another gift to put under the Christmas tree, and I literally bought him so far this many gifts. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna go and get some Christmas gifts. Because the tree at the moment is just full of things for me. And then we're gonna go to the dog park. <gasps> I wonder if Xenia is gonna bring her dog. Ladies and gentlemen, today was probably the worst vlog of the whole vlogmas because I literally did nothing interesting. The whole day I kept organizing stuff, 
like makeover of the bathroom which I'm so happy with because honestly it was not usable it was not a room I, it was a room that was always doors closed complete waste of space a place that I really always like dreaded even passing by and seeing and now it smells like salted caramel <laughs> the only disappointing thing is when my boyfriend came home he was like did you bake something I was like, no, it's just a candle. But maybe I will bake something, who knows. If you guys know any good, easy recipes, please help your girl. I just had a shower and I'm kind of ready to, you know, like uh, retire for the day. It's 8.44, I'm ready to, to retire for the day. Tomorrow is going to be much more fun because I think tomorrow I'll meet Xenia's new dog, which makes me so happy okay guys realized i haven't really updated you much today i hope there will be some sort of content from this day because this day was just ridiculous i don't even know what i showed you and i'm really sorry about that but i promise that tomorrow will be much better just had a video call with xenia and she showed me her dog and tomorrow i'm gonna bring you guys we're going to meet her dog i literally i don't think i'm gonna be able to sleep from the excitement usually by this time of the day i'm already asleep but not tonight. Good night, everybody.